Hey, this is George back with the New Hunters Guide, the YouTube channel and podcast helping new hunters get started and helping active hunters learn new things. We got a nice snowy day today, which is a great time to talk about merino wool. And the big question a lot of people ask is what is merino wool? And then maybe more importantly, is it really better than regular wool and how? So question number one, what is merino wool? Merino wool is wool from the merino sheep. It's not a grade of wool. It's not a a particular quality level of wool. It is the wool that comes from the merino sheep. Simple as that. That's the type of sheep. That's the wool that comes from it. Number two, is it better than regular wool? Well, the question of better depends on what are you going to use it for? Merino wool does have three unique qualities to it that are better than regular wool for certain applications. And since we're talking about hunting, uh, there are definitely ways and reasons why Merino would be better, if not superior to regular wool. But the number one thing that sets Merino wool apart is a finer fiber than your regular wool. That has those three benefits that I was talking about. Number one, because the fibers are thinner, they're less itchy than regular wool. Regular wool is larger, coarser, fibers. The merino fibers are finer and they can be woven differently so that they can be worn as a next to skin layer without being too itchy. This is a fair advantage over regular wool, which because of itchiness, it's hard to make it a next to skin layer unless you weave in a lot of other materials. So you can have garments that are 90%, 95%, 100% merino wool and wear them right next to your skin. The hat that I'm wearing is 95% merino wool. I've got some base layers that are 95% merino wool and they're very comfy, just as comfy as any polyester or other synthetic material that you might use. So that's one of the benefits. And of course, wool in and of itself carries lots of benefits, not gonna get into all that here. Chiefly, it insulates very well. If you're hot, it doesn't keep it keeps you from overheating. If you're cold, it keeps you from getting too cold and it maintains the ability to insulate rather well even when wet. So that's why you would use wool to begin with. Merino enables you to use wool as a base layer comfortably. So that's the number one advantage. Number two advantage, the thinner fibers can be woven tighter and provide more insulative value for the volume that the wool takes up. Now that doesn't mean merino wool is warmer. Pound for pound, I don't know that there's any significant difference in merino wool versus regular wool. But inch per inch, merino wool can offer more heat for the thickness of the wool that's used versus regular wool. So you may need a full inch of regular wool to achieve the same benefits as say half an inch of merino wool. I'm just I'm just pulling that out of the sky. I don't know the actual values and how you would calculate that. But in general, that's the way that it works. So you can have socks, for example, that are still thin enough to fit inside of your boots or layer with made out of merino that provide just as much warmth as regular wool socks that have the same weight, the same physical amount of wool in it. Because that regular wool is going to be bulkier and take up more space, whereas the merino can be smaller and finer and provide the same amount of warmth in a smaller package. And of course, there are no Merino wool companies that are sponsoring this video. Nobody's sponsoring these videos but me, but you guys can help support me by hitting that thumbs up button and help this video and others reach more people. Number three, the finer fibers of the Merino wool wick and evaporate moisture quicker than the larger, coarser fibers of regular wool. So when you wear it as a base layer or even an intermediate layer, the merino wool will wick moisture away from your body quicker, it will evaporate it faster, and it will dry quicker than your regular wool. And since you're often using thinner merino versus thicker regular wool, that enable or that that is a synergy there which helps do that as well. So the merino wool in and of itself is it superior to regular wool? In certain hunting applications, yes and absolutely. In other applications, 
Maybe, maybe not. It all depends on how you're using it. But for this context, there's base layers for socks, things of that nature. Merino wool is oftentimes, of course, it depends on how it's made, right? You can process one thing well and something else not as well. But depending on how it's made, Merino has the potential to be superior for base layers and hunting gear. I hope this is helpful for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button. Helps us reach more people. Till next time, God bless you and go get them in the woods.